Hi, I'm Michelle McLaren, and I am a co-executive producer on Breaking Bad and was lucky enough to direct episode uh, 307, One Minute. And with us is... Uh, Dave Porter, composer for the show. Luis Moncada, the good-looking cousin. Nice. <laughs> Daniel Moncada, the bad-looking cousin. <laughs> this is Tom Schnauz, the good-looking writer. <laughs> this is Dean Norris, the awesome-looking actor. Oh. <laughs> And you're watching our teaser right now, which has the uh, baby cousins, as we referred to them. And uh, Tom, you want to talk about the casting of these guys? Well, we brought them. We uh, we brought our, our kids in. We, there was a, from what I understand, a big radio search looking for these little kids because we just could not find anyone up to the task of of pulling this off. And and these guys came in. Uh, our casting director, Akira. Uh, Put out a call to to schools all over New Mexico, and uh, some principal called her up and said, "Well, we've got some twins here, some kids who might be able to do the job." And they came in, and they really, really did. I mean, they never they'd never acted before, but they were they were very confident, and it was great. But when we showed them the pictures of who they were playing, they looked very concerned and said, "Are we going to have to shave our heads?" <laughs> and they didn't think these guys were very cool. And then we showed them the explosion from three hundred one. And then they thought, wow, yeah. these guys are cool. And we did actually uh, ask them to stick their head underwater in the audition uh, under their own control so we could make sure that they could do the drowning scene. And that's always fun, just a bunch of us standing around dunking kids' heads under the water, you know. <laughs> Uh, I, want, I want more couple, of that. We asked you just to take your hand off the back of their head. <laughs> Where did you guys find that old phone, by the way? I love that old. Oh, uh, that was very, very specifically had in mind because there was back on the X Files. They did a. I remember they did a, a, a you know, flashback with Mulder, and he had this gigantic phone. Love and, that. And we were like, we want that phone. Yeah. <laughs> Mark, Mark Hanson props. And, and also the, the, the chair. The right? chair that Tio yeah. sitting in is yeah. fantastic. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that was great. That was the that, was set that. that whole look, man, the, the, the colors. And this right shot there. here, um, the we set up on a platform, and when we did the shot, the um, the whole rig <laughs> broke, and the water poured out <laughs> onto the camera. And there's actually <clears throat> only about uh, four seconds of this shot that was usable. And our wonderful editor, Skip McDonald, was able to manipulate it into looking like several shots. But just, uh, just I remember seeing the the camera crew just. Bounding out from under this rig, this rig because you know you have this very expensive camera and there's water pouring down on it, so they 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 moved quick. I love how you, the one minute comes up early and you think that's what maybe the one minute is ref referencing only. In fact, it obviously references Thank more than that. Thank you. I wrote that. Did you write? Who I wrote this write that. thing? <laughs> Let's, before we go on, but by the way, Michelle McLaren, of course, nominated for an Emmy for directing this fine uh, this fine. Oh, thank you very much. Oh. It's all because of you guys. <laughs> well, we know that, but I just wanted to throw it out. <laughs> and, and here's our transition from the... Uh, yeah, we got to use a little nice of little our... From nice little boys. Uh, right. Little good little kids, too, you son oh, of a bitch you bastard. What son is that? Oh, oh. Oh. oh, okay. <laughs> We're good now. Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. You know, we talked a bit in the last uh, episode about just the operatic nature of these two guys, the character. you have anything to add to that? Like, how you guys chose to create these characters and throw them into, like, the naturalistic world of Breaking Bad is just is awesome. I mean, it worked great, and it was awesome, but, like, how did you think that would work? I mean, they don't, they don't talk. They have you these know, silver you, suits on. They... You never know until... I mean, honestly, you, there, there was concern, and then I remember seeing the casting tape of these guys when they came in, and we were like... Okay, this is going to be really good. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be really good. They, I remember this this little, you know, it's a badly shot video when you get these casting tapes, and they came on screen, and uh, we were like, okay, this is yeah. uh, just I think, awesome. I think we're just... okay here. Well, and then the, the interesting thing is that uh, Luis came in first, and he was so wonderful. The casting director said, uh, "You wouldn't have a brother by any chance." He <laughs> said, "Well, I do, but he's never acted." And uh, Daniel came in, and lo and behold, uh, the cousins were discovered. Were discovered, mm -hmm. and just great, man. There's Let's little see. Jesse Pinkman gonna get some hurt on, laying on this oh motherfucker. Oh boy, Dean, this. you were so scary here. Talk about being being in the moment. Mm -hmm. This is and a great <laughs> shot. Remember we had we had the new uh, the uh, focus puller man. Yeah. He saved us on this one. Yeah, nailed it. <laughs> Losing take. the light, man. And just this is... just everyone on the crew. I mean, this was this sun was going down for all all these shots. To keep that and in focus is not easy. Is one, to keep one, that in focus is not easy. One take. And then, Bam. Oops. Oh, oh, ow. Now, Dean, you um. You did make a little tiny boo boo here. I one did, day. I did, and I felt um, really bad. I, yeah, I, little I, contact. That's what they're there for. That's what they're there for. Yeah, they used to be, they I used gotta to be say, tough guys. 
I got to say, this shot right here, when I saw it on set, I was like, okay, we got we got a really special episode going on. Because I remember watching that and just the way the camera moved and Dean's acting, I was like, I remember feeling like I was being sucked into the video monitor. I was like, oh my god, that was this sort was, of mesmerizing. Uh, this was really fun. This was this was uh, yeah. This was starting his his journey yeah. to the other side right here. There was a trim we made here. I, I, it works now. I was we originally we had Dean call the hang, calling the police, calling nine one one, but it, it certainly worked with that. No, that well, works. It's, it's a great moment. You really see your your decision making process there. You realize you've done something horrible, and you're considering, do I call it in or? Yeah, as know. long as you, 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 let, you, you let him look back, was great. You yeah. know, it was, it was perfect. Yeah. I, I, and that's you, a nice lonely shot there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, you you were so great in this, Dean. I mean, you always are, but this well, was thank exceptional. You. You're all right. You're all right. <laughs> and all I made right. fifty bucks for you. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of moments in this episode with a lot of very dramatic music and a lot of big and, and impressive sound work. A lot of music uh, in the first part of this episode, certainly with the the kids getting drowned. We, we actually drove our poor mixers crazy on this episode. <laughs> and I will say that they are all nominated for yeah, they are, the indeed. sound work. As they should uh, be. Which, yep. which, uh, yep. if, if you're listening uh, to the episode and you don't have surround sound, I suggest you to go to somebody's house who mm -hmm. has it and, and yeah, just experience yeah. it because it's just it, they do amazing work. You, it, it's just phenomenal, man. Really, and and and, and it's it so seamlessly, you know, fit in. It's just unbelievable. I think. And here's Saul Goodman. There is Saul. <laughs> and this scene, just one of my, uh, you know, just a phenomenal. One of two uh, Aaron does in this uh, in this episode mm -hmm. is just phenomenal. And you know, just to bring up the music again, Dave. The, we we don't use a lot of music in Breaking Bad, but in this particular episode, we actually did use a little bit more music than we normally do. And I don't. You we want did, to speak yeah. a little bit to that? Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, this is an action-packed episode, and uh, the we're reaching the culmination point in a lot of our various storylines. Uh, the scene we just passed with. Uh, with Hank and Dean Norris's character there, obviously turning a page, and uh, and we have the consequences of that action, which uh, take place in the fourth act of this episode, which is uh, has a lot of music in it. You do a fantastic job. That camera that we just saw when uh, Saul was showing the picture the second time to Jesse, and the picture was upside down. Yeah, that was actually an accident at first, and then we realized, <laughs> you know, it's really great. We love it. it's so Saul. <laughs> That's uh, funny. He's very. He's, look at those colors again. They're all very good. That, the shirt, the <laughs> blanket, zoot suit. and the zoot suit. <laughs> yeah, the tracksuit was, uh, was a was a great <laughs> choice. Yeah. Kathleen DeToro does an amazing it. job, and yeah. Michael Silvis, of course, makes it look beautiful. And this makeup job on on Jesse. Yeah, that's you know, it's another thing. You you write this in the script. You're like, oh man, how is this gonna look? <laughs> how's this gonna look? <laughs> and then, you know, why am I worrying? Because they're all. I mean, we you get the best people for the job, and they just. Just knock it out of the ballpark. Oh, yeah. No, it's, it's phenomenal. Yeah. Was that Frida that did that? Or, or, um, is it specialty? Uh, we had some uh, some special effects people. Um, we took a mold of Jesse's face in Los Angeles, and, and they made the, the prosthetic pieces and sent them out to Albuquerque. And then we had somebody who worked with Georgia and Frida and uh, in the application. And Georgia really was the one who carried it on from episode to episode and, mm -hmm. and the continuity of it and because he, he heals. And so right. in, in upcoming episodes, we see different stages of this. And uh, so they had different size prosthetics, and, and then it went. The prosthetics uh, went away, and it was just makeup. Mm -hmm. And they did a phenomenal job. Yeah, and Frida, I want to shout out to Frida because she did great makeup on me this year in terms of kind of uh, you know the sleeplessness and kind of making it look uh, and really helped a lot. And, and she was great at it. Oh, she's amazing! Yeah, she did a fantastic job. She oversees everything, so and she's she's great at making sure that that everything, all the continuity in the story and, and everything is covered. Yeah. Poor Jesse spends half the show looking like this, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's, you know, the girls love Jesse. And here, look what we did to him. That's yeah. terrible. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Son of a bitch bastards. Who wrote this thing? But uh, Aaron is so good in this. this I mean, just the whole uh, yeah. series episode. He's just fantastic. It's a great scene here. Uh, Aaron's amazing, yeah. 
He's been hanging. So, so many people respond to the fact that he's been hanging on to so much for so long, and then he finally, yeah. finally gets his moment to let loose. Yeah. On Walt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Walt just deserves it. That's... You just look at that makeup. How close we are. Yeah. And, boy, it amazing. looks painful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what I also love about this scene is when we see Saul again. He's still the only one wearing the ribbon for the airplane crash. He's <laughs> keeping the flame. I didn't notice that. Nice. Going. Yeah. He's yeah. he's got wow. it there on his. It's out of frame right nice. now. But. Uh, He's still uh, cashing in on that. <laughs> <laughs> he cares. Yeah. It's all cares about. Uh, now, did you know when you got this scene, when you got this episode, did you know, what did, like, got, did you go, man, I got a great episode coming? Oh, absolutely. Or, or, I felt like I hit the jackpot. Did here you? Because this, I did when I got it. This, uh, <laughs> you know, this shootout that happens at the end of the script was, you know, it was being talked about in episode three, and it kept being <laughs> pushed back and pushed back. And I remember at some point I emailed Michelle. I was like, you know, I think we're going to get the shootout in our episode. <laughs> I didn't know we were allowed to tell that story, but I found that email the other day, and it was, and it was we were very excited. Because uh, it, it was in episode five, and then John was like, I got the shootout. Ah, you bastards. And then, <laughs> and then it got moved, and I was like... Is this really gonna? Because then I was like, oh, it's gonna be pushed to episode eight. But then it, you know, it sort of stuck, and everything just all the everything just got aligned for this episode. I just, you know. But the writing in this, I mean, obviously that's the the big uh, the big climax. But at each of these scenes, both of Aaron's, several of mine, man, they were just perfectly written. No. Uh, no. Dialogue, man. It was just crafted, it, it crafted and perfectly. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't agree more. I, when I first read this script, I I still remember the moment I shut the script and I thought. Oh my God! I get to direct this. Yeah. And it's one of the most brilliant scripts I've ever I've ever read. Tom. And I, I have to say the same thing, man. One of the one of the best scripts I've ever read in uh, in my life. So. A lot of very nice things have been said about this script, and they're all true. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, again, I mean, you you're going to hear in all the if you're listening to this commentary, you probably listen to all the other commentaries, and you know it's been said before, and I'll just say it again. It is a complete group effort, and all these scenes are crafted by. By all the writers and Vince leading the way. I mean, it's just, uh, uh, you know, to, to work with Vince is just amazing. And he just, uh, you know, we. He's we, not here. You don't have to keep saying we, that shit, you know. No, he's not. Okay. He's yeah. in the background. Yeah. Oh, he is. Oh, 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 no, Vince is the best yeah. person oh, he's ever. He's great. He's so good. He's really good. But complete honesty. I mean, he, we throw a lot of stuff out there, and it's, you know, it's all got to get filtered through him. So he knows, he, he you know, great at, at picking what's what's yeah well it's interesting i didn't get a chance when he was in the room but it's interesting how this represented like the rhythm of the entire season you know that this kind of came when it did and mm -hmm. it, you know it was very interesting that that rhythm you know that that th what it represented in terms of the rhythm of the season do you right. have any comments about that or did you know it was that kind of a thing you know it's it's one of the, looking back at it then you can you can sort of say oh yeah that makes sense but you know when in the middle of it you just you, you're just right you just can't yeah you're sort of in in the middle of the war you don't really notice that type of thing i think i mean some people probably do well, but you guys do a, a great arc for all the characters <clears throat> every season and and i think what you what you're saying is is this is this is a high point in the arc of of a lot of, of a lot of the different characters especially yeah. you well i mean Dean. but also i mean these guys die it was a big thing well, I mean, and i was I was just going to ask you guys about that because we knew at some point you guys knew coming in that you were going to die, but we didn't know when. And I have to say, you know, when I found out that it was it was this episode, and I remember I went to the trailer and sat down with you guys, and I I broke it to you. How how was that? I for was you? sad. Did you cry? <laughs> Did yes. you cry like babies? What? No, <laughs> no. Yes. Just like the interview for the LA Times, I said it's not crying if the tear doesn't fall. So it was not. I was holding it. Wow! You know, but, but it was. It was. Like, I was like, man, so soon. Yeah. yeah I'm jumping. Sad. I'm jumping ahead. But you were supposed both supposed to die in this episode, and then we we realized it was going to be a sort of a major error if we go through the season and Walt never makes eye contact. With uh, at the end of the episode, you were gonna get Mike. Mike was gonna show up and, and drown you in a puddle of water just to to bookend the episode. <laughs> the bookend the episode, oh, you crawling away with your broken legs. Uh, but uh, then we realized, well, you know, Walt has never seen these guys, and it's and then uh, you know the very cool scene was pitched with uh, you with your severed legs hopping the, out. That was cool. Hopping out of bed. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> bed. I just want to give you. A yeah. Dean, you were great in this scene. You feel your pain. This was a, uh, yeah. This was uh, poor Hank, man. <laughs> oh, goodness. It's really interesting how, how you know, that character, you, 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 you took him from, you know, from just horrible mm -hmm. in a way 
people hated him mm-hmm. when he beat up Jesse. To not everybody with, I mean, a, with about three scenes got him to like people liked him, you know. What, what, but what or I didn't love, like him, but they cared for him. But what know? I love about the beating scene is that you could just see it from both sides. It's like, no, Hank, don't don't do it. Wait a minute, Wait. Jesse has it coming, the little bastard. Yeah, right. <laughs> Go get him. Yeah. And then it just you unleash on him, and then you're like, you know, you don't know how to feel about, about it all, but yeah. Uh, but it, it, our original cut of that, uh, I guess I should say my original cut of that was much more violent. It was, and, yeah. And, yeah, and and Vince very rightly so uh, pulled it back um, because he thought, didn't want to make it look like you killed. He Jesse. is such a little yeah. girl. Sometimes. Vince is kind of a pussy, <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> I love this element here, though, taking the the, the, the shame the hands, that you had, so, a, yeah. you know, the, and that was detailed in the script. Yeah, you know, they took yeah. it off, and the shame of it was great. Well, and this shot here, this wide shot that we're we're coming up to, uh, too, yeah, um, and it, it was important to me here that we see you, you know, bending over your hands in front of all these guys. I mean, it's so it's so humiliating. Right. Which leads to this humiliation of having to walk, I mean, really, from where he started in the show mm-hmm. to this moment. It was like the worst, you know? Yeah, Hank is, uh, you know, cock of the walk all the time. Yeah. He's, uh, you know, and I have to walk through that crowd now. Uh, tuck his tail Ooh, I get chills. His I get chills just feeling it right now, that poor guy. It is, well, it's very, it's very cold in here as well. Yeah, the that's studio right. is freezing. No, you had so many emotions, Dean, that you went through in this episode. It yeah. was awesome. Oh, here's our here's our magically disappearing background extra. Here's there he is in the background, and then uh, yes. and then he comes walking down the hall. <laughs> it's, it's one of those things you're moving at you know everybody's yeah. moving 100 miles a minute, and uh, you well, know there, so was a, there was another reason for that. <laughs> Nobody notices it. I know. But I like now to, they will. I, I like to point it out and ruin <laughs> things, lovely, ruin the magic. The lovely Betsy Rand. This is the only time I got a little methody, man. I said, you know, Betsy, I don't want to rehearse this, and don't look at me in the rehearsal. And that's the first time I see her right mm-hmm. there. No. Because it, right. I just couldn't. She was so great. You know, I just couldn't. I, I didn't more, want to waste it. You I get more comments on this scene. Than me I'll, too. I mean, people love people. this scene, Dean. And you know, when we shot it, I was going to cover it. And you, we did this take, and I thought, no way. I'm not doing anything else because this is so beautiful, this moment that, that you go through, and so raw and real. And people loved it. Mm-hmm. This is an example of a, one of the scenes in the show where we specifically don't use score, <laughs> too. Right. Because it's so much more natural and heartfelt without having to pull anybody's strings. And it's funny. Some people thought that was some sort of a dream, too. I've had people say yeah. that, right, mm-hmm. that it came out with this, but it wasn't, really. I mean, it wasn't supposed to be. Like. And, Tom, I love the way you guys wrote it, that, you know, they, he goes into the elevator, Elevator and he's very serious and mm-hmm. together loses it in the elevator as soon as the doors open. Mm-hmm. He's, he's back got it on. together. Yeah, yeah and just watching it, it just uh, you know, you, it's heartbreaking and then it's you almost want to laugh a little bit when you see the elevators open because he's there. There, it's just yeah. so much. I mean, people do it in in real life as you get bad news and you can't hold it together and you, you have a private moment and you sort of let go and then okay, here comes somebody and you kind of snapped back, back to, together. Uh, yeah. 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 Here's the cutting of the uh, peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> Lovely, the the perfect cutting. cutting. Yeah, this was much longer originally. <laughs> we really got in some detail of the cut of the uh, peanut butter sandwich. Uh, but here comes the lovely Anna Gunn into Walt into Walt's condo. Which is uh, yeah. Have we mentioned that this is Vince's? Uh, Vince's. Uh, uh, oh no, okay. We did. Vince we did, doesn't we did live before here. When he oh, was, you did? Yeah, oh, okay. So. I wasn't oh. sure it was public knowledge. Yeah. yeah. I gave the phone number. I don't know if that was, <laughs> if that was cool. So it's okay so. to give the address. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. This is Vince Gilligan's condo uh, yeah. in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Yeah. I don't suppose you just <laughs> Oh, man. Hey, you know, I mean, just back to what we were saying about one minute, though, and I think I've talked to Michelle about this before. I've had people come up to me who know the title of this, of this episode, and I don't know the title of any episodes, mm-hmm. and I'm even the ones I've been in, you know what I'm saying? But they'll go, oh, man, one minute, you know? And, <laughs> so. That's nice to hear. Oh, yeah. Trying to find an RV. So, there we go. here's Skylar questioning, uh, you know, what Walt knows, and it's, uh, for a minute there, it seems like she's concerned about uh, Walt's safety. Right. And uh, Is this why you're here? No. What I like this is her her attempt at saving Hank and and uh, planting the seed of, of what happen to him if this what happens next with Jesse. Yeah, they both have very cold moments mm-hmm. in this scene. It's, it's very uh, you can you really see the how how far down their relationship is has yeah. fallen. Yeah, feel it falling apart. 
It's a feel good episode. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that was another, I mean, this, you know, another worry is that boy, this episode gets so dark and you just, you just want to have those comedic moments anywhere you can. So that's we throw in the, the trucker and you got Saul Goodman and, uh, because it, so it gets very bleak. <laughs> it's true. Now, Daniel and Lewis, what did you guys think when you read this episode? I couldn't stop. I read it. I couldn't stop. I was like, wow. What, how are they going to do this? How are they going to do this? <laughs> wow. I, I was just like, wow. I was just, you know, like one of those good books that you can't stop reading. Was there anything you were worried about? No. No. Dying? No, because dying. I didn't. That, I, I was sad the whole time. I was like, I can't believe I'm dying. I'm reading. I'm like, I don't, want, I don't want to get there. I don't want to get there. But I didn't know how long we had to shoot it. That it was gonna be the the that day fast? we had. Yeah, <laughs> I was reading it and I was like, wow, how are they gonna do this? This is gonna be cool. I was just thinking, you know, we right. have all the time in the world. And then when we got to that part, that day, it was like, oh. Oh, run over here, run over there, run over here. I was like, wow, 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 wow. But that was intense. It, yes, it was. Oh, yeah. Well, back in the super lab. Back in the super yeah. lab. Yeah. Gosh, Michael does a beautiful job lighting. Oh, yeah. Hello. He really does. Fantastic. I love this. At, uh, I, I think this was a joint idea by Brian and, and David Costable that that Gail starts dressing a little more like Walt. Oh, that's cool. He, yeah. It was very funny that that first day on the job, he was sort of dressing that, uh, was, he's wearing some kind of hippy like, dippy ish Right, pullover thing. Yeah. Or thing with it, with it, yeah. And then he comes to work the next time. And wow. He's, <laughs> that's nice. He's trying to look a little more like his hero. <laughs> so, yeah, Skylar planted the seed that something has to be done to help Hank. What could be done? And then this is the, the seed sort of takes root here. Just one little annoying thing that Gail does sort of gets under, <laughs> gets under Walt's skin, and it's just like the the idea starts formulating that uh, get rid of Gail and bring in bring in Jesse, and that'll 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 save Hank. Yeah. But Did you guys know when you when you <clears throat> wrote this scene where you were going at the end of the season yet or not? Oh no, I don't know. Wow. You don't really. Wow. With the with the final, I don't yeah, know. Yeah. I don't. We did not have that. I don't think. I think there was talk about, you know, well, we need to get get rid of Gal because that's uh, he's he could take over for Walt eventually. But you know, I think that came that idea came and went. But then when we got to the end of the season, and here's the old, Here here's the old trucker, oh, and then that's oh. a great scene. Nate, oh, Nate that great. guy. Yeah, this is Nate, fun. Nate Mooney is our. Our gun salesman is that, uh, that Nate? Yeah, fastest nice. talking yes. trucker alive. The, this, yeah, oh Nate the Great. Just a mouthful of ridiculous dialogue. No, how, do you guys, <laughs> how do you guys feel about looking so darn cool? Look at us. We don't talk. <laughs> <laughs> no, you I both need, talk in this we scene. We don't need to talk. Huh? You, I know. Bo you both have dialogue in this scene. Real quick, boom. <laughs> but see, it's just phenomenal. I'm Nate, sorry, Nate. I keep harping on it, but just the the you guys are. It's just so they're so iconic in a way. They're so mm -hmm. classic, you know. And that they're in this world is just, I, it just it's great. And then it pays off yeah. with that last scene. The, all this build up with the axe and this, of course, this scene and everything, you know. It just, it was great. Women who like to get peed on always tend to be from the warmer climate. Daniel, what'd you think about this scene? <laughs> I was thinking, where is he gonna shut up? <laughs> <laughs> Tom, who came up with the uh, girls that like to get peed on? Is that Vince? You know, no. That says Vince. <laughs> no, uh, I wish I could say that was Vince, but this was this was the second scene in the script that I wrote. I wrote the teaser, and then I jumped ahead to the screen scene because I just sort of had a feel for some some weird dialogue, and I I wrote it, and I thought I'll just put this in now, and Vince will change it to something right. else, and he was like. No, we're going to keep this. And I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> Tom, this what, is Tom is... Schnauz written all over it. Mm. I, and I'll tell you, when Vince saw this scene for, cut, uh, shot and cut for the first time, he laughed so hard I thought he was going to fall off his chair. <laughs> <laughs> That's, you know, this is not everybody's favorite scene, but something. <laughs> Did you guys flip so... a coin to decide who got to shoot him? That's the... Or is that in the script? <laughs> it was, it depended, because we needed uh, Marco to have the bullet. So ah, indeed. That's why we uh, the bullet, the, the bullet. bullet, the bullet that he pockets, and we were oh, just want to make sure. Word. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, sad. this is great though, right? It's such a great moment right here, though, when he just boom. without, <laughs> <laughs> without, without uh, hesitating. That. That, that was yeah. true. Wow. But everybody just the uh, <laughs> everything everybody comments is on it. They didn't. They actually paid this guy the money. They didn't kill him. They just. Yeah, they let them live. <laughs> when does that happen with these guys? But uh, you know, they, yeah. they 
They have their they, rules they, they live by. Yeah, they wanted to see if it worked. Yeah. And it did. Yeah. So here you, you go. You never know when you're going to need to buy from this guy again. So you right. know why. Here you go. Yeah. Why kill him? You Love know, you. it's always with the utmost uh, concern of ours to make sure that the cousins look really cool. And getting up in the back of this truck, this is a very high truck, <laughs> so we put an extra handhold. I don't know if I ever told you guys that, on either side of the truck, so that it was easy for you to get in and out. Not that you couldn't do it. Oh. But you guys, I didn't ask you to do this. Exactly like that. You just that was great. did it. The and communi- it was yeah. so brilliant and such a wonderful out for the scene. I loved it. Yeah, that was good. All right, so here's here's Walt's plan taking fruition. We originally had a I had written in a a music montage which was sort of the opposite of the three oh six montage where they're getting along and it it was just the two of them just nothing connecting. Nothing, nothing going right. But uh, we didn't need it. And it wouldn't fit anyway. There was no time in this episode. We... What did Stu Lyon say? Montage is a French for over budget? Not what I said. I said 85. I love that these guys are having this really serious moment. They look like a couple of bananas with, uh, <laughs> with pink ears. Or pink something. ears. Yeah. All the primary colors. That's a Vince thing, right? All these kind of like strong primary colors everywhere. Isn't that his, his thing or something? Anybody? No? I think, I mean, Vince is, you know, his, he is involved in every tiny minutia of, of yeah. the making of the show. He and, actually and calls me the night before and tells me what kind of underwear to wear. Which yeah. is nice, yeah. <laughs> which is, but, but that's part that's of his really genius, being involved. though, is, is that's, <laughs> yeah. That is being involved. Lacy, not lacy. <laughs> yeah. The kind with a hole in the back is what he yeah. requests. Is that what you call it, a hole in the back? <laughs> so backwards. There Here's our go. sludge. There's the sludge. Look at that shot. We do those every once in a while too. That's a camera, right? Not an actual. F- that's right. Yeah. Film. That's, that's a. That was a stills that, camera. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Dean, you were so good in this scene. Oh, oh. this scene. When I read this scene, man, I really felt like I was doing a, a the best American stage play, man. Who you know? So oh. I don't know who the fuck this guy is, but <laughs> both of you, you and Betsy, and I'll tell you oh. what's am- what was really amazing too is that we could not afford the time uh, or the money to go to the actual. Uh, yeah. Schrader house right. and so we had to build the bedroom on set but we again for financial reasons we only had enough to build a two walled a half yeah. set yeah. yeah two and a half walled <laughs> set or something and so you guys um, this, this is not the real Schrader bedroom and we had we, we didn't even have enough carpet to go more than about four feet out really, in front of the please bed please send money if you're listening to this please, <laughs> yeah, please. fans <laughs> gather together help us help us produce Breaking we back. need three wall sets <laughs> Yeah. And that piece of wood on the side there yeah. is not is is a the side of the dresser, and the other piece on the left side is a piece of card. But yeah. you see it in the show. And there's actually a public totally access, there's actually a public access show going on right next to us, right now, <laughs> which we had to shush them up every once in a while. But <laughs> yeah. this is you guys are so great in the scene. It was. Uh, this is so funny. Michelle and I had a discussion about this. That there's a moment at the end where he, where I tear up, and she was adamant that we don't. I didn't even seen it last time we talked about this, but uh, I said every time I read this damn thing, I couldn't get to that line mm-hmm. that he's not the man he thought he would be mm-hmm. or what thought he was without without tearing up, you know? Mm-hmm. And it wasn't like I tried to do it. It was just if, you, just did, yeah. if you went through the thought process of this scene, and the words that he goes through, it just it, it just happened every mm-hmm. single time, and I could not do it. So. Well, what I what I love is I think it's it's more heartbreaking when you see a man trying not to yeah, cry. Yeah, absolutely. And because you held it back, held it back, and at the very end, when you say that, and your voice has this little tiny crack in it, it is just it's heartbreaking. I love it. Such, and the, yeah, yeah, such an interesting editing choice in this scene too. I mean, because Dean was great in every take but we used a lot of these takes i, I love ex- it yeah extended takes where dean is out of focus in the foreground and you're sort of watching this through marie's eyes which is even more hard it just yeah adds that extra layer of your you're sort of seeing her see him admit mm-hmm. this this truly I can't breathe. devastating you know yeah con- conclusion about himself is that i'm not the man who i thought i was and i here's he's he's laying it all out on the table yeah you, i think you really see how in love this couple is in this scene as well which is very touching yeah i thought that was i mean i just think i might have said it to you before that i thought 
people will remember that shootout. But for me, this whole episode was about marital love mm -hmm. in its way that, is, that, that you really see between these two people, which is different than, you know, romantic love and this love, just that they really got each other's back at the end mm -hmm. of the day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And she was willing to try to get him to lie a little bit, but he's the mm -hmm. no. And then, and she, yeah. that's a Every, great look, you I know, mean, <laughs> just, not just beautiful. Marie, everybody, I feel like in this episode is sort of giving <clears throat> Hank the chance to fudge the facts a little bit you right know, do you really want to say this you don't have to do this hank you can hank just tell the story just, that yeah. that he attacked you and uh, everything will be okay and he's like no i'm gonna i'm gonna, he's be, a gonna man. be a man yeah and that's what that's why everybody falls back in love with you after it's beating up jesse is because you're a man you're a good guy he ends up being yeah making that choice man which is which is interesting yeah everything that's we chose to be very quiet in the scene dave Yep. I swear to God, Murray. <laughs> <That's all. laughs> yep. And I'll be Just... quiet about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, the performances makes... are so strong here. One of the yeah. best things about writing music for this show is that we almost never have to add music just to add music's sake or to help uh, with any kind of these types of very personal emotions. They're so well played and written to begin with that it's much better and more real to uh, stay away from them musically. Yeah, a lot of other shows would add the emotional score here and it just, uh, you know, just, and it would, you know, it works on other shows, but this is, I mean, that's what makes Breaking yeah. Bad so special. But... That was a nice little nudge there. Yeah, I remember this is Vince, I mean, when we were pitching the scene, he it was, remember him talking about them sitting on the edge of a bed and, and mm -hmm. him resting, her resting his, her head on his shoulders and, you know, works, works great. Yeah, yeah. It's just not working out. It's, I, I love Brian in this scene. I, do too. <laughs> I always He's love this. He's so nervous. This He's scene so funny. when he pitches Jesse Pinkman as as our only solution, <laughs> and there's this beat. You know, there's silence on the end of the phone. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> He's so funny. Is Jesse Pinkman? <laughs> <laughs> you know, his eye, his eye shift there and. Hello. <laughs> 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 But again, yeah, any moments of humor just sort of sure help this episode. No, look, there's, there's yeah, no kidding. That he was funny all season, Brian. I thought. I mean, for most of the beginning of the season, at least, you know, yeah, yeah it was great. Yeah, well, so you, all you guys have such great comic timing, along with your your dramatic chops. That it's great to be able to do the the funny stuff in this uh, in this in this show. Yeah. It's very hard not to laugh off camera sometimes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The lab is mine. Uh, I know best how to run it. You just slightly moved in there, didn't you? Mm -hmm. That's not a different mm -hmm. cut. That's just a, mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. We got great camera work on this show, yeah. Yes, I oh, will. yeah, these guys are amazing. Okay. I think the, the other side of the conversation was originally written into the script, but then we... We took it out. Took it out because uh, I think Giancarlo yeah. was uh, not in the country. <laughs> so that made our choice very easy. That young man that we saw in the wheelchair in that shot, mm -hmm. um, he actually auditioned originally for um, for uh, Walter Jr. Walter Jr. Part really, really nice, really oh, nice guy. Very nice guy. Why don't you just go get yourself a monkey? I don't want a monkey. Is that Car Carmen's? No, is that Carmen's son? No. Oh, gee, um, no. Yeah. Okay. I thought it might have been, yeah. Anyway. <clears throat> I got my own thing. What are you two talking what? about? Mm -hmm. Hey. <laughs> nice we got some acting going on here. <laughs> <laughs> this is what can, can you do this, Dean? One eyed acting? This is... <laughs> yeah, that's tough, man. You gotta you gotta yeah. send a lot through one eye. That's... And he I mean and he sends a lot. He in sends a lot. <laughs> he really so he pours a, it out. This, this is another great this scene. This was man. a scene inspired a little bit by I remember I don't know how we got into talking about the, the film Rocky in oh, the room, but there's wow. a scene where, where Sylvester Stallone gets his chance at the title fight, and and Burgess Meredith comes over after being nasty, just being a real shit to him, and he comes in and starts trying to sweet talk Rocky, and Rocky goes off on him. Yeah, and Burgess Meredith, Meredith sort of leaves with his hat in his hand. And he's like, oh, all right, I, you know, this guy is never gonna forgive me, and then Rocky runs out after him yep. and you know shakes his hand, and that, that's sort of what. We we used as a model. It's funny because I actually thought that when I saw this scene, it, I would it, it recalled that scene. I'm a big mm -hmm. Rocky fan, and I thought that same thing. Yeah, so that was sort of sort of the groundwork we we built upon for the for some of the scene. Yeah, million dollars. I am not yeah. turning down the money. I am. You know, Dean, when you were uh, mentioned that you kind of did some method acting, and 
the elevator. Yeah. Uh, Aaron, who who also is not a method actor. Yeah. I mean, you, you know, most of most of you guys are joking around behind camera, right. and then when it's time to go, you completely bring it. Um, uh, you know, just turn on a dime. But he was, he really stayed in the moment on this one, for yeah. this one. And he was just holding, holding on, holding on and waiting to release mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, this nice. tirade. Yeah. And uh, I, I, when he first did it, he kind of blew us all away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was great. I have never been more alone. Yeah, poor Jesse. I have nothing. Yeah. No one. All right, it's all gone. Get it. And Brian, man, Brian, you know, anytime you get to do a scene with Brian and have him react to what you say, oh, yeah. no, just, his, his, watching him listen is just great. His face is incredible. He has <laughs> the subtlest facial movements, and it says so much. Yeah. He's, he's incredible. And I, I love when he walks out of the room and says, Look at it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Your method is as good as mine, Jesse. And that, <laughs> that's, yeah. That, as if that's a sort of, big compliment. Yeah. yeah, this is a big fatherly compliment. But honestly, yeah. I mean, for Walt, that was a that hard was, yeah. thing to admit because he was always like, this is a clearly inferior yeah, yeah, product. Yeah. I mean, it, you know, this is, a, I'm embarrassed for you. I'm actually embarrassed for you. Yeah. And then he gets up and he's like, you know, I'm not the, I'm not the only one. What's garbage? It's screw you, man. Screw you. Your meth is good, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> Your meth is good. So, and I think great. that's what we want all our kids to aspire to. That's right? what <laughs> the best meth possible. Get to work, guys. No, I did, well, Aaron just really was yeah, it was fantastic. That, just man. amazing to watch. Yeah, and you know, yeah. I mean, the, the, that's why this episode is so. I mean, every scene in it, you know, what I'm saying, is just like mm -hmm. top of the game yeah. scenes. You and know, it, 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 every scene is so Walt with his, written. Walt with his tape still on his car windshield. Yeah, right. <laughs> it was well, such, I his, love that his touch. His second a, or third windshield at this point. Uh, I, I can't know, remember. I've lost track. This might only be the second time, but I think we, it's the second. We certainly <laughs> do some damage to the windshield this this year. Is that the actual outside of the place? Is that where do you, is it, is you? It is. It we is. is. Okay. We uh, we digitally removed the address. Right. Nice. And I actually rented a condo in this place in Albuquerque as well, in the complex, and it's yeah. awesome. Wow. Make sure I stay away from there, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't recall so being here's, invited, Dean. I think Brian's there too. <laughs> Brian's there too. Oh, I was. I've been invited, young lady. <laughs> so this was, you know, writing this. You're worried that do you. Do you after that tirade? Do you believe that Jesse is going to get on board with this? And hopefully, that's you know again with that Rocky, yeah, idea in mind that you you buy it. And oh yeah. And originally in the script, I don't know what I was thinking. That he looks at this pain chart, and the the image we I had written that we end on was the happy face, and it, we cut it that way. It was like that doesn't <laughs> that doesn't work at all. So we end on the the uh, the. Little sad face here, <laughs> sort of. That's is that what Jesse's mood really? Did he just make a major mistake <laughs> in signing up with this with Heisenberg? Yeah, right. That's true. And here's our OPR official, these guys. which is the, uh, and we block shot all these scenes. By the we, way, we which did. is a pain in my ass. I Michelle. know, and I got to say, kudos to you, Dean. <laughs> this just for if anybody wanted to know what that is, that's uh, when you don't have a lot of time and that's you've got to do a lot of scenes in the same set in the same direction and so the scenes that we shot in here we shot uh it was two scenes we shot everything looking one direction back to back and then we turned around and shot the reverse of both scenes and so dean had to jump from one scene to the next back and forth i guess what would that be four times yeah and um at you, least you so did an um, at least you're right because we have three three angles that we yeah. cover here and uh dean you did an amazing job All, everybody did everybody, everybody did, but, did but yeah. you especially because you had a lot of emotion here um and it was it was great and there's that recreation that same shot again where he bent over in the first one mm -hmm. exactly I ask you to hand over your badge and your gun. Uh, this was a this was a long day. This was a it long was. day. It was. I, I, I because these weren't the only two things we were shooting that day obviously but um I, I also liked uh, bookending, so to speak, um, with the same setups, like you yeah. said, that, that long shot. Yeah. And, because uh, you've gone through so much in between. Mm -hmm. 
and we all know it's coming. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Hank is a guardian angel. Guardian angel. I love. I love that element. And his of it. name is Walter White. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but there are those elements in Breaking Bad. I love those elements of that. You know, the guardian angel kind of concept. You mm -hmm. know. And the, you know, just and it worked out just the lighting wise too. On the, when you get on the elevator, there's this sort of light, <laughs> kind of a glow. right above your head there, and you're like, yeah, I, I do have a guardian angel. Yeah, I do. It's, all, <laughs> it's all gonna work out just fine. Yeah. Everything's, yeah. Everything's, gonna be great. Everything's fine. <laughs> oh and goodness! Then, and you had to go buy flowers for Maria. Yeah. Oh, what the shit. But I gotta tell you, when my wife read that, she was like, "That was that's the best part of the whole script that you actually have flowers going to your wife <laughs> before you get killed." You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> no, but she, you know. <laughs> it was such it's such a nice touch, you know. It really was. Little things like that are just so purple, I'm guessing. Wow. Purple, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you all about it when I get home. So, and Michelle, you, do you want to describe how how you and your army undertook this this <laughs> oh, scene? Oh God! This two <laughs> days were dedicated to shooting this you know, entire scene. Uh, boy, our AD department led by Polly Matheson, holy smokes, and our camera department led by Michael Slovis. We, sorry, Polly Matheson. I uh, think it was um, Polly Matheson. Um, you know, I had it uh, shot listed out. We had a plan. It was a good plan, and we were we were like an army. We was, I felt like uh, actually we were at a running a race, and as the uh, we were at the starting line, as call came in, we all ran and uh, well, got it done. I've, I've never I've never felt so over so heartfelt towards a crew before. I mean, yeah. I you know it's, I was uh, blown and away I, by what these guys achieved. And everything was pushed a day too, because I remember there was this freak snowstorm. Right. Yep. And so they went and shot one day of three oh eight. And Hello. push this sh to the uh, past the weekend. Well, and we lost our location at the <clears> last minute, the parking lot location. And uh, Mark Freeborn, our wonderful Boom. production designer, found one at the last minute. The music in this was absolutely fantastic. Oh, thank music you is very much. Awesome. So, Dave, do you want to talk about this? Hey, uh, yeah, I can talk a little bit about it. Uh, like we often do on the show, we used music here to build the tension, mostly before the action actually happens. So uh, right. a, a lot of tension building Boom. here and a lot of, of course, attention paid to the clock yeah. flipping over. To eight. That was a great to, moment, uh, man. When episode. it flipped to eight. Yeah. And a lot of great sound work here, too, of course, with mm -hmm. uh, yeah. all of the, the misdirection right. going mm -hmm. on. Well, and that's what we, that's, and we wanted to you know, try and, and fool the audience. And the gun gone. I love that shot. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's great. But this is just Michelle going, remember, she's just going, Dean, look down, look scared, look over there, look mm -hmm. left. No, really, look re real scared, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's all that was. I mean, that's not like really scripted out. That was kind of us right. creating that, you know. And we created a rhythm in this. That's the other thing with the sound. The, like, did you see it and then write it to it? Because yes. now it's like, here it comes. Where's, did we see, I missed the eight already? Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Like they're all yeah. fuck. Yeah. You know? And yeah. then it goes away because you're wondering whether great. it's for real. Yeah. And, then and you go, here oh, we get to bring oh, back shit. the yeah, palette that we've used for the cousins throughout. To you know, and now you're you like, off are they really? Are they not real? You know, boom, right. boom, boom. And, and then, yeah. Could that be them? Could that be them? No. And he doesn't know what they look what like. What am I looking for? What am I looking for? And he's got a panic attack anyway. He can't do anything. The little fake idea. Boom. Yeah. There's a lot of bald guys in this part. Yeah. Exactly. But here again, every day, all, all these cuts, are, just look up, look, oh, fuck! And then <laughs> Michelle loves this shot, right? What we did, just, that was just a video camera in the wow. back of the car, right? Or whatever it was, or just a... Oh. Now, now, how this, did this feel, right, that guys? One, that how was, one, how was, was that shot? Inside this that shot, rig. that really tight shot of Dean, we had lost the light. That's that, a poor, poor man's process. Oh. Car's not moving. Michael blasted light in there, and Dean pretended he was driving the car back, and you'd never know. Boom, boom. I can't believe I missed. Are <laughs> 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 you serious? Uh, how, did, how did it feel to be squished? Uh, Ow. That how, hurt. how hard was that stunt? Was it okay? Uh, more, uh, and then I, the alarm goes off. I enjoyed doing it. Matter of fact, it felt like a roller coaster. I was just like, okay, okay. okay. Uh, <laughs> it, you know, I, I said to Daniel when the, when the car hit him, he's got to he's got to move his body, he's got to fling it forward. And when we actually shot it, I thought he he was it was so violent. I thought, oh my God, we've we've snapped his back, and uh, and it was all him doing it. We did an amazing Love job. Love this shot coming up with the low angle from the of the gun. Is, my, is that coming up? Yeah, right there. Yeah, Love great. that shot. Love that shot. That is nice. Is that shot Andy, in slow mo, or did you slow it down later? We shot it in slow mo. Okay. And that's Andy Vogley on the uh, yep. Steadicam. 
That was all me walking slow. That was you. Okay. <laughs> that was no that was count. That was just Matt me. Props. Matt, Matt, Matt Props gone. Matt. And boom. And this here, this, so this thing, I mean, this thing all worked, you know, to do this boom. This lady screamed so loud, I yelled cut, and she didn't hear me, and she kept running and screaming and running, and I'm yelling, oh, And that bullet again. That bullet that again. Bullet. There it is. Oh, wow. Boom. It was a trucker's fault. Bam, bam, bam. Now we didn't reveal. Do you think? Pe but people obviously understood he had the bulletproof vest. Yeah, yeah. But there was yeah. a point where we were going to reveal that. We did. We shot it and we we cut it out. And originally, you shot him in the back, and which spun him around. But uh, right. Um, uh, shoot. Now this, oh, shoot. this is later. My my reaction is all two months later. We did some pickups here, and. Yeah, and then, and then the whole scene shifts again right here, man. I fucking it's, love it's, it. Yeah, Boom, it's, right no, there. It's, it's amazing because we and the we, music uh, goes with it. Oh. Yeah, the, the music is is t makes it terrible. And that's a here. great shot. Yeah. yeah, that was a great well, shot, Michelle. The, figuring that. Out. And then the next one, when you. you see it, to the bullet to the face, you know. There's some. You what go, is this? We in, had what eight and a half hours of light on these days, and so we had to pick up some shots of Dean on the these as are you all said, two that's months after. later. Yeah, that's after. And um, it's just. I love this Phenomenal. noise that's in the music. The this, noise, this and I love the dragging of the axe, which was in the script, actually. Yeah, yeah that's And that's I'm glad strong. we kept it in yeah. there. You probably noticed we used the right there. car oh. alarm as the tempo mm -hmm. for all oh, the music in this whole sort of thing. And of course, the, the car alarm sets the tone for this whole scene. Through it the really room. did. It was so jarring, man. You know, when it. So the lesson here is, guys, if you're going to kill somebody with an axe, speed it up, because you just up. don't know what's going to happen. That's right. He no, gave no, too much no. time to just lose it. Shoot him the first time. That's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. Uh, Here we go, baby, baby, right ooh, to the, ooh, right, to the <laughs> right to the right to the lens. That that was a shot I think they wanted to do back in the Tuco era, wow. and they didn't, and they, didn't they didn't do it, do it so yeah. it, it got. We got to put it in this one. And here's the the, the alarm keeps going really? just like the T.O. Bell kept going exactly. in uh, in the in the grilled. <laughs> exactly. Wait a minute, this is over. What, what happened? Wow. We're done already. We're done. How do you, yeah. how, how do you feel, Luis? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> It is sad. There's always flashbacks, just, though, right? Just wait. Will we yeah. cut right now? I'm just going to yeah. jump on that guy over there. I'm talking about Dean. You made, <laughs> don't look at me. I didn't write it. I didn't write it. Jump oh. on this guy. Oh, oh yeah. All right, Tom. It's all right. I, I just do what I'm told. Oh, <laughs> that's I'm, it. I'm not that mad because I still walk. <laughs> <laughs> I still walk. Good night, everyone. Good night. Thank you. Thank you.